What is going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be opening 5 packs of Heritage WWE. I don't think I've ever opened any wrestling on camera. I know I've done UFC, but if I did some WWE, it must have been... I want to say maybe in 2018, 2019 I believe, 2018. Um, I was looking for Ronda Rousey rookie cards and I, I don't think I've actually shown that video now that I'm thinking because... That was definitely that I, I mean, I opened those packs definitely at an LCS. Um, so, yeah, that was not recorded at all. So, this will be my first time actually opening these. Um, I don't know what to expect from these. I've seen very little videos of this, people opening this stuff. And when it comes to Heritage, the cards look always look really nice. Really nice feel to them as well. Uh, these are only four cards because they are from Dollar Tree. So, it doesn't really say, you know, what odds you're going to be, or you can possibly get from the packs. It just says this, and that's it. So, I don't know if there's any yellow parallels, I think there's more like a panini thing, if I'm not mistaken, so. Alright, going to be opening these and see what I get. I picked this up, um, I don't know, it's been like two weeks, two weeks ago, picked them up, and um, I seen him and uh, I was looking actually for uh, Absolute or Dumbrous Football, but it looks like that stuff hasn't dropped at all at Dollar Trees this year. I don't know how long it normally takes. Anybody knows, let me know. But I think it was around this time of the year, last year when I picked up some, some boxes of, uh, what was it, basketball, NBA hoops, and... I don't think I opened any or found any football, so. All right, here we go. Titus O'Neil. Raw. This is the design of the card. Pretty classic. This is a. Uh, was it like a 90, um, 88, 89 or something? Dumbrus. Tops. Is it tops yet? Yeah, tops. I don't know. I get confused with Dumbrus and tops. Some of the baseball designs. They actually have this design, like the same design with uh, like Topps Archives basketball. So, pretty cool. Nice traditional design right there. Seth Rollins. And I don't know a lot of these wrestlers nowadays, so I'm probably going to butcher a lot of these names. NXT. And we got a. Uh, Another NXT wrestler. So, all right, pretty nice. Let's see what's in this one. I'm not expecting any autographs or number of cards. I know that's not going to happen here. <laughs> Shotzi, Smackdown. She was in the what Royal Rumble? I didn't watch the whole thing, but I seen like the highlights. It's pretty awesome. I wonder if we got a John and Knoxville card. I'm gonna try to look it up. They probably don't, but that would that'll be nice if they had a John and Knoxville rookie card. <laughs> Adam Cole. If they don't have it this year, they'll probably include it next year. Which it'll be awesome. Uh, Charlotte Flair. She got uh, her ass wood by my girl Rhonda. They were the last two uh, remaining wrestlers on the on the ring in the Royal Rumble. And once again, this card. Okay. All right, here we go. Next pack. Man, these packs are kind of difficult to open. Yeah, Yem. Bailey. I don't think she was in the Royal Rumble. 
There was quite a few that weren't in there. I don't know who the other ones were, but I was reading she was not she was not in there and a few others. Riddick Moss. Pack. I really can't wait for it. I really can't wait for the restock tomorrow. Hopefully they bring some hoops basketball. It's been like forever. I mean it feels like it's been an attorney since they came out in the retail and um in the US. And I still haven't seen anything here. Um also like Mistake football. Didn't it come out, uh... What, it's been like two weeks, I believe, since the hobby came out, so... No idea when it's coming out. Uh, Jay Uzo? Is it Uzo? Probably mispronounced that. Hmm. Grew up with, a. Uh... He grew up around sports, entertainment legends, and WWE Hall of Famers. Kira Tozawa. There's been a lot of Japanese wrestlers these days. It's pretty cool. It tells you the signature move right there. It's pretty awesome. Keith Lee, the Limit Breaker. All right, last pack. These packs, I swear. I think that the reason why they're kind of hard to open is because they ask only four cards, and the thinner they are, the harder they are to open. So. Now we got Gable, Chad Gable, Shelton Benjamin, the Pay Dirt, interesting, uh, Kushida, another guy from Japan. His signature move is the Sakuraba Lock. Interesting. And Kevin Grimes. Doesn't say what his signature move is. Maybe it's an error card? Let me see. His tops is known for that. Oh, there's some that doesn't have uh, signature moves. Protect your neck. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Moon salt. Moon salt. That's um. Reminds me of a uh, character in Armor Core. Mirage, just as we thought. There he is. Moon salt here. Target identified. Moving in. He's dead. I mean, other game. Previous one. On the fourth series. Oh, I didn't know Rick Moss was from Minneapolis. Pretty cool. Also, chat. And there we go. So, that's pretty much it. Um, little um, break right here with these cards. Like I said, I've never opened any of this on camera. So, this is the first. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.